Welcome back, everybody, to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time we had finished up Buster's training, but there's still one more room out on Quilty Court that we need to do stuff with, and that is Apartment 302. So, let's head in there and see what we gotta do. This needs four items. So this needs, let's take a look, this needs the uh, cleft tree, god damn it, this needs the cleft tree from Melody Town, the jellyfish light from Blub Blub Ocean, the knit cap sofa from Mount Slide, and the space monitor from Future City. Here's the final tenant. This is Mara. By doing that, we complete cast because we've seen every single character in the entire game. Mara is uh, well, Mara's mini game is based on racing, where you basically have to. Uh, get to a certain point in the level before she does. I believe this is also the most uh, plentiful minigame. That there are uh, 30 stages to this. It's the only one that has 30. If you recall, Carrie had 12. Uh, what else? What am I leaving out? Uh, Zeke had, uh, 18. Uh, Buster and Beedrix each had 20. Anyway, degree of difficulty on this is actually not very high, as you can plainly tell. But what's gonna end up happening is, if you've cleared a stage and then go back to it, Mara will actually match whatever pace you did when you beat the thing. So, you... Not only would you want to go back to beat your previous time and such, you have to beat your previous time if you're going back to it. I, I don't know if what I said made sense, but if you go back to the level and notice that uh, Mara's pace is a little faster... That's why. Another thing to note with the uh, races, if you take damage, you are frozen for three seconds. So just keep that in mind. So here we are at the second stage. Fountain Gardens. If you transform into the car a lot, you'll usually keep going ahead of her. So yeah, the car form is your friend. And there we go. Race stage two complete. Out of, like I said, 30. But these don't really take very long. At least I don't think. Some of them take as long as some of the other mini games, but it seems to go by faster, if only because you're racing against something. Alright, race stage three in uh, Flower Fields. I think it only seems faster because you're not given a set time. You just have to beat your opponent. Out of all the uh, mini games, 
This and the hide and seek are probably the two easiest. Look for shortcuts wherever you can. I mean, that helps, like, in any racing thing, but... Anything to cut your time down. Is it okay. Then I think with that, too, this is probably going to take the longest out of all of the minigames, but it's gonna feel like it's gonna take the shortest. Honeycomb fabric for that. Okay, Rainbow Falls. For race stage four. As you may have seen with my last update, uh... I am back to, uh, having unlimited, uh, upload time. Yeah, I, I had, uh, the problem was, I, I, th I suspect the problem was that, uh, the reason that I wasn't able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes and, uh, 30 seconds is because I had a copyright strike from, like, three years ago. That got removed. And now, all of a sudden... There goes my uh, upload limit. So yeah, the last minigame, I, I originally was going to have to split that up into three videos. I didn't have to. But I, I figure, I think the way I'm going to split this up is, since there's so many of them, and it's probably going to take a while time-wise, even though it's not going to feel like it, um, I will probably split this half and half. Like 15 in part 38 and 15 in part 39. I haven't decided on that yet. We'll see how this goes. Alright, you just gotta keep climbing up. Watch out for arrows. You'll see that Mara will actually occasionally stop herself if you're just playing this for your first time. Or playing, like, the race stage for the first time. But I don't think she does uh, when you go back to it unless you took damage or something. I honestly can't remember. And for that, we get the preppy fabric. Alright then, stage six in Pyramid Sands. I feel like I like have more commentary for this. I don't know, probably it's probably because I find this really easy, and therefore, I don't have to concentrate on it so much. Okay, that was kind of close. Let's jump over that shit. Be careful not to get in those tornadoes with those spike balls in there. You'll be fine. And I think if you get hit by those, like, once, I think you're still okay.
For that, we get the red textile fabric. Now for stage seven and lava landing. Kind of careful here, not to get exploded on. Mara will probably get ahead of you, but not for very long, because she does like stop. Like that. Look at that, I just barely beat that. That was so close. It wasn't even funny. Flames. The burning flame fabric. Now for stage 8 in Cool Cave. Reach the finish line first. That's the objective in all of these. Watch out for the spike balls. I don't think I had to tell you that one. Especially this one if you like jump too early. Don't make it over in time or some shit. And don't get squished. Getting squished also counts as damage. So just keep that in mind. Wait here. Then go. And there we go. Not too difficult if you're paying attention. Right then, for that we get... The Battens fabric, the, those bat enemies that are in like Cool Cave and Dark Manor and such. Stage 9 in Dino Jungle. Take 2 because I don't pay attention. I'm apparently really stupid. Take this path. Because it's faster. I took the other path and lost. Probably because I took a stupid hit right there. There we go. You see how simple that was? One change and it makes all the difference. And that was a success. And here we have the Ancient Ruins fabric. Now for Stage 10 at Toy Tracks.
All right, this one's kind of tricky to do. Basically because you have to navigate some complex shenanigans. Just wait here. I believe I have to take this with me. In order to actually get up here to the finish line. Or I guess it's a finished party ball. Because of with all the confetti and shit. Remember that we get the happy train fabric. Now for stage 11 at Mushroom Run. As is kind of to be expected with this stage. A stage does have a tendency to be a stage, after all. There we go, that took less than half a minute. Okay, and for doing that, let's see what the fabric looks like. We get the caramel star fabric. Now for Sweets Park, race stage 12. Take three, because there's the most annoying fucking thing ever in this level. And you don't really think about it until it starts slowing you down here. Time that just right so that you don't slam into it in car form. And there we go. And the fabric out of that stage. is the cookie cookie fabric. Hungry just thinking about that. Stage 13, Melody Town. Jumpy jumpy. Ha ha, I seem to have the lead.
Wait, is the goal up there? Christ. No? Wow, I just barely won that. What the hell? Oh one oh one oh one. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Treat land fabric. Looks like a friggin' jigsaw puzzle. Stage fourteen, splash beach. This looks real fun. Come on, go up. There we go. And for that we get... Another dot fabric, it looks like. Baby blue dot fabric. All right, blub blub ocean for stage fifteen. Take three because apparently I have inherited uh, Prometheus MFDs. Don't pay fucking attention while playing video games. Attack of playing video games. That was a string of words that kind of made a Prometheus MFD level of sense. Shit. Okay, avoid this. Basically just by snaking everything. <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. Finally, I get this done. I get it done by not being a stupid idiot. And for that, we get the Waterland fabric. <laughs> 